Hello everyone. In this video, I will explain how you can start your free Power BI training at your convenience with Microsoft. I will cover each training module and also show you how to enroll. Let me switch to the computer for the demo. So here you can see, see your path to getting start with Power BI. So here you can see all the modules and we will see each module one by one. So first one is getting start with Microsoft Data Analytics. It has two sub module, discover data analysis. This will give you the high level information about the data analysis. And this will give you the high level information about the building block of Power BI. Now let me explore this one, discover data analysis. So as you can see, the total duration of this module is 36 minutes. And it has a six units, actually. And here you can see all those unit, introduction, overview of data analysis, roles in data, task of a data analyst, check your knowledge. Check your knowledge is basically MCQ kind of question. And here is summary. Now let me close this. Now we'll explore getting start building with Power BI. So here you can see this will take a 21 minutes and six unit. And this will give you the high level information about the building block of Power BI. Now here you can see the introduction, use Power BI, building blocks of Power BI, tour and use the Power BI service. So Power BI, one is the Power BI desktop and another is a Power BI service. So this is the tour of Power BI service and check your knowledge again, MCQ question and summary. Now let me close this and we'll go to the next module that is model data with Power BI. This is very important actually. So you have to understand if you will understand in the better way, then you will do the modeling properly and your report, everything, the performance of the year, your report, everything is depend on this data model. So this model data with Power BI, this has three modules, describe the Power BI desktop models. And I'll explore this and we'll see. This will take 29 minutes and it has a six unit. So here you can see the this module talks about model data with Power BI, use DAX in Power BI desktop. First is the introduction, star schema design, basically different kind of the schemas are there, A star schema, Sonoflex schema, and the galaxy schema based on your data table size and base your model, you can design your schema. Configure report visuals, check your knowledge, again MCQ question, and summary. Now we'll check this one. Choose a Power BI model framework. So again, this will be a 46 minute and it has eight units actually. And this will basically model data with Power BI. So actually you are going to model the data with Power BI. Prepare data for tabular model in Power BI. Here you can also take a module assignment. And here this is the optional and you can also, here now it will again start introduction, describe Power BI model fundamentals, determine when to develop and import model. Basically there are the three types. So import model, direct query and the composite model. So depend on your requirement. So this three actually, these three models actually explain you. This will explain you the import model and this will explain you direct query and this is the composite model. The composite model is nothing. It is the combination of the import model and the direct query model. And choose a model framework. So which like, you know, depending on the your requirement, you have to choose which model you want and check your knowledge like, you know, MCQ kind of question and the summary. Let me close this. And the last one is designing a semantic model in Power BI. So this will take a one hour 
23 minutes actually is a bigger one and it has a 10 units basically and here you can see develop a dynamic report with microsoft power bi model data with power bi validate your microsoft power platform solution architect skills so again you can see the introduction work with table create a date table so in the if you know that like you know the basically in the power bi we have a dimension table and we have a fact table so dimension table is a master kind of the table and the fact table is a transaction kind of the table so how you can like you know what will be the relationship and everything so define your data work with the relationship like you know how you work with your fact and dimension table what kind of the relationship you will establish one to many many to many and there are so many things and resolve modeling challenges and exercise model data in power bi desktop so here is the excess 45 minutes exercise so you have to do actual you will do the modeling in power bi desktop check your knowledge again mcq kind of question and the summary so this has been finished so let me and now we'll see the building power bi visual and report so now here we will start building the power bi reports so first module is scope report designing requirement so let me expand this and here you can see this will take uh, 34 minutes and 8 units. So, so building a Power BI visual and report, design effective report in Power BI. So here you can see introduction, identify the audience. So if you are building the report, you need to identify what kind of audience you have. Okay, now determine the report types and define user interface requirement so in power bi like you know there is a so many slices filters based on requirement you can like you know your visual you can keep changing actually so define user experience requirement explore report designing check your knowledge again mcq question and summary so now second one design power bi report so this basically is a very big module so you will see one hour 39 minutes and it has 11 units and basically it is building power bi visual and report designing effective reports and develop a dynamic report with power bi microsoft power bi dynamic report means like you know dynamic report you can change your report based on your slicer filters etc so that you can do it at the runtime dynamically and here you can see the introduction design the analytical report layout design visual appealing report report objective select report visual select report visual to suit the report layout format and configure visual visualization work with key performance indicator exercise here you will see the exercise 45 minutes that is the reason this module is very big and check your knowledge and summary now the last one is configure power bi report filters so as we discussed earlier there is a two thing the one is a filter and one is a slicer so this module will take uh, 45 minutes and, and you can see here introduction to designing a report for filters apply filter to report structure apply filter with slicer so there is a two thing the filter and the slicer so design report with advanced filtering technique consumption time filtering and select report filter techniques so there are the three types of the filter one is the visual level filter another is the page level and at the report level filter case study and check your knowledge and again summary so let me so here you can see uh, instructor lead training so if you will expand this you will see the many thing you can if you want you can enroll for enroll for this one and if you will do honestly with this training you will also give the microsoft like you know certification exam certified so you will see the lot of like you know assignment and many thing and you can register let me go here so you can see i'll show you high level 
so here you can see the you can continue with the courses and you can take the practice assignment launch a sandbox like you know watch the videos so pl 300 exams and all that and here the examination fees is 165 dollar so this is all about uh, power bi training now i will show you how to enroll it just go to google and search learn power bi and just select learn power bi and you will see the first link training for power bi if you click here you will see the page same page which we are discussing so after that when you will come here just click here and from here you have to log in okay if you will not log in then it will be the whatever you will it will not record actually so from here sign in and then your gmail id and whatever e email id you have you sign in and then you continue with the your training so that's all for this video and i request you to please subscribe my channel thank you for watching